How's it going, guys? We are out here in beautiful Newport, Rhode Island for Audrain Motor Week. I'm actually out here thanks to the Audrain collection, and I can't wait to show you the car culture that Rhode Island has to offer. Starting the show off strong with a Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept. In 2023, unfortunately, the Charger and Challenger will be discontinued, and in its place is this all-electric concept car that Dodge says is going to be faster than the Hellcat. It also has this electric horsepower boost mode where it makes more sound noise-wise than an actual Hellcat. I do have to say the design language on this is absolutely brilliant, but going electric in a muscle car, I can see the controversy. Easily one of my favorite Ferraris of all time, the 599 GTO, six liter V12, making 661 horsepower and some of the coolest looks. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the standard 599, but the extra little aero bits, cooler hood, and front end of the GTO just looks so spectacular. Pretty cool array of McLarens behind me. Now we've got the newest McLaren, the Artura, three liter twin turbocharged V6 hybrid, making 671 horsepower. Now apparently it can do zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds. Haven't been behind the wheel of one of these yet. I'd like to soon. It actually sounds pretty good for a V6. What do you guys think of the styling? The next to it, we've got the McLaren Elva hypercar in a very cool livery to match the 765 LT, the bunch of exposed carbon bits. Love the interior on that. This is a really cool show. Very eclectic grouping of cars, everything from that Enzo to new Lucids to old classic cars, big Porsche array right there. It's kind of like the quail of the East Coast. And I love the fact that it's at a massive, gorgeous mansion right on the water. Nice lineup of vibrant color Rolls Royces, the Rolls Royce Ghost that we recently reviewed, another Ghost, and look at this pinkish purple Cullinan. That is crazy. Porsche Speedster startup. Sounds epic. Fully unrestored. This thing looks awesome. Another V12 masterpiece, the Aston Martin Zagato Vanquish. 5.9 liter naturally aspirated V12 making 595 horsepower. But the shooting brake design is so iconic. I love the rear end of that and the tail lights are especially cool. Absolutely gorgeous Aston Martin pulling up. Wow. Pretty cool display of Astons next to the Zagato. Nice repeat. Check this thing out, 1959 Cadillac Cyclone. It was a concept car back before 1960 that was supposed to represent the future of driving. It had some pretty cool technology. These front cones here were actually proximity sensors that would alert drivers if there was objects in the way. So pretty cool, almost park distance control sensors back in 1959, massive V8 engine and the styling of this thing is absolutely nuts. And then next to it, a modern day Cadillac concept car that we saw first at the Quail. Really spectacular design. We're gonna look at an actual production car, fully electric Cadillac Lyric SUV. It's actually got a really nice looking interior. I love the curved display. And then check out some of the details for the drive controls. Really nice finishings. The seat design is nice as well with those little perforations and different colors. This mansion is so cool. Easily one of the coolest and most respected hypercars ever made, the Ferrari Enzo. Six liter V12 making 651 horsepower and only weighing 3,000 pounds. But the design language is what makes this car so truly special. Get a load of that gorgeous interior. I can't imagine what this thing is like to drive taking a peek at that six liter V12. As if the Enzo isn't cool enough, this guy's Instagram shared the Enzo. He's driven it 23,000 miles. It's gotta be one of the highest mileage Enzos in the world. Look at this, it's got a cracked windshield and apparently to replace that windshield, there was only one in the world and it's $60,000. But kudos to this guy actually driving the crap out of his precious Ferrari. The infamous quad turbo Chiron Supersport in full exposed carbon fiber. I wonder if this is actually the one that was out at Goodwood. I love that extended rear end, this section right here, as well as those stacked exhaust tips. Thing is absolutely wild. Beautiful array of older Porsches. I love this 993 
Ruby Stone Red. And then the star of the show getting the most attention is this GT2 RS Club Sport, one of 25 with a Manthe racing kit. It also has some extra aero work as well. Check out the front end of this thing. Insane brake ducts, carbon fiber. I love the yellow accents, the vents in the hood, the wheel design is unbelievable. Extra vents right there in the fenders. I love the wide body. And then that is an enormous rear wing. If you think the new GT3 RS wing is big, get a load of that. And these almost lightsaber-esque turbine-shaped exhaust pipes are so damn cool. Beautiful Speciale sitting here in front of Jay Leno's car care collection. It was a long time ago, but right when I first moved to LA, I actually took a tour of Jay Leno's garage to promote his car care products. I really want to go back there. Now, apparently he has a pretty spectacular house here, actually, out in Rhode Island. Look at this beautiful Fiat taxi, Fiat 600. That is pretty cool with all the luggage on top. I feel like you know you're rich when your house has camel statues made out of flowers. <laughs> pretty epic color on this M5 competition, voodoo blue. Still need to get my hands behind the M5 CS. This thing is pretty cool. How crazy is this? The Trophy SS Electric. It's a 1990 Land Rover with a Tesla Model 3 powertrain in it. It's actually a really cool concept. Nothing much to see there, a little battery action. That is way cool. Beautiful Monza SP2 sitting on the back lawn of the mansion, naturally aspirated V12 windshieldless hypercar. Such an insane car with a beautiful design. Hand-painted art cars. Got this gorgeous 355. And then over here, Rolls-Royce Phantom. That is pretty awesome, actually. These guys have a bridge in their backyard over the ocean. This place is insane. How wild is this HK Motor Cars truck parked on such an angle, I hope it doesn't roll into the ocean. But check out the headers and exhaust system. They're sticking out the back like cannons. That is so cool. This is actually at a ridiculous angle. Check out those Fox Racing shocks for the suspension. Winch in the front. Nice Koenigsegg CCX pulling up. That is absolutely spectacular. And the cool part about the CCX is it is a manual. Look at that manual transmission. How crazy is this? This is one of the motors from the Lucid Air. And this tiny little electric motor, despite it's pretty dense, it's 163 pounds, makes 670 horsepower. Can you imagine an engine that small making 670 horsepower? That is insane. Rolls Royce bag. So fancy. Love the interior, that wood trim. Looks amazing. Mercedes 190 SLR, the front end of that is so menacing. And then check out the plaid seats in the interior and that fire extinguisher. Cool to see a Diablo next to a Pantera. You can see some of the design similarities between the two. But of course, I'm always a fan of the Diablo VT. One of the smoothest driving older cars I have ever been in. Even the waters are automotive themed here. Well, this thing certainly looks familiar, only this one has full carbon fiber wheels. How crazy is that? I love the orange painted calipers as well. And next to it, a Cobra Jet on skinnies on the front, drag radials in the back. I bet this thing is quick. You reimagine a Land Rover that nobody could ever imagine, it doesn't leak oil. <laughs> that is unimaginable. And I just show it to you here, and if I shut it, it shuts like a car door, which is a beautiful thing for a Land Rover to begin with, and uh, this one made out of wood. <laughs> I think most guys are woody defenders. <laughs> Check it out, Jay is signing the car. So the best part about Jay Leno's interaction with the Enzo is, despite the car being super, super cool and the owner driving the crap out of it, he still mentions that he's not really that interested in the car and then started talking about how the Ford GT is better. You gotta love that. He's kind of infamous for not having any Ferraris. Well guys, what a spectacular first day in Newport. There's gonna be a ton of content coming your way over the next few days. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow the Audrain Collections YouTube channel. I've got a link in the description below. All right guys, I look forward to seeing you next video. <laughs>